Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. Super excited for this one because I finally feel like Elite Zoo North has uh, come into a point of, I don't want to say stability, stability is a strong word, but we're starting to feel okay now, we're starting to make some money-ish, uh, we've got over 300 people visiting, they're, you know, they've got balloons, they're eating, we've got lots of animals, well, more than we started with, obviously, um, my point being, I'm feeling a lot better now than I was, you know, two episodes ago, and uh, there have actually been some really amazing suggestions in the, uh, in the comments as to how I can improve our situation significantly, and Again, that really helps me tremendously because a lot of the times it's like uh, you, you tend to miss certain things that would be more obvious if you were uh, only playing, if you weren't like talking at the same time as playing, at least for me personally. Um, so it, it's extremely helpful and uh, I'm going to be implementing as much or as many of those suggestions and pieces of advice as I can, especially because there were some very core things that I... Um, kind of missed out or, or missed out on or, or, or didn't uh, recognize right away. So we're going to have to make some uh, adjustments to make sure we're doing okay. Um, what I'm probably going to do is we're going to start paused for just a moment as I adjust a couple of things, do a little bit of uh, management stuff, and we're going to let time move forward into uh, brighter times. We're definitely going to get some lights and stuff set up as well. Many of you have mentioned it's kind of hard to see when it's so dark. Uh, so I'm going to get that fixed up as well. But, but first things first, there's some uh, overall management stuff I want to take care of. Now, as I get into that, I want to mention very quickly, folks, that uh, if you've been enjoying this series thus far and you'd like to see it continue, because I certainly would like to see it continue, but I'd like to know if you want to see more of it. And if you do, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like and a comment down below. Uh, like I said before, I do read all of the comments. I take in all the suggestions and thoughts and questions and curiosities that you might present uh, in said comments. And then I also look at the uh, likes and comments as an indicator of, okay, are people interested in watching this series? Should I continue it? Uh, should it be more often? Should it be less often? Things like that. So keep letting me know. Uh, but enough harping on about that. Let's go ahead and get to work over here. So first things first, thank you all very much for pointing out the fact that I I seem to have completely forsaken our, uh, our our Brazilian wandering spider as well as our um, our tortoises up front as far as the work zones are concerned. So these folks are probably that's probably why they're not getting fed and uh, being taken care of and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get that sorted first. Um, so work zones and staff work zones. Go ahead and edit the work zone there. Yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and add you, and let's add you as well. Make sure... Ooh, is this out of range? Interesting. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Seems as though I can't add everything. No, there we go. That was weird. Oh, no, I got to add these two as well. Huh, that was strange. I don't know why it wasn't uh, letting me shift click it, but hey, whatever. It worked out in the end. So yeah, now we have all of our habitats, all of our exhibits, and all of our, uh, you know, vendors and stuff as well included. So hopefully Central, which I should probably call the Americas work zone. Mm, you know, I, I, like, I like Central. It feels a bit more descriptive for a work zone. So it's a Central work zone, uh, and that should allow us to... Ooh, hello. You should be assigned the central work zone as well. And that should allow us to uh, take care of the spiders and stuff without me having to micromanage that and call a keeper every so often. Um, apart from that, we also, on the topic of uh, management, need to actually reduce... Unfortunately, I hate that I have to do this, but we have to reduce the food quality that the uh, animals are getting, um, at least the wolves. The wolves are getting some really high-quality grub right now, and I need to... Um, drop that because it, it yes it's it feels marginal a, a marginal difference in terms of cost but that is probably our greatest expense right now so let's drop it down to grade one food quality if we take a look at our uh, expenses uh where are we food 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 is it under purchases no sorry hey, there we go animal food 1689 that's a fair chunk of cash so uh, reducing this will hopefully help us out significantly. Uh, another thing we can do is actually change how often uh, people visit. So vet every six months, keeper every month, that's probably good. Mechanic, we can probably bring in uh, every three months, I suppose. We can do that. Uh, again, these are all suggestions that uh, and pointers that you guys left in the comments. So again, when I say I read all the comments and take them into account and whatnot, I, I mean it. <laughs> it does make a big difference because, uh, yeah, you know what? Completely... I didn't notice uh, this was an option, and uh, and I'm glad I know it exists now. 
So that should hopefully help uh, maintain these things a bit more. And one other thing we should do is get our, um, whoa, there we go. Uh, get these things on a more regular uh, maintenance shift. It is really dark, isn't it? I really got to add some more lights. Many of you have been mentioning that it's a little too dark and I should, um, I, I should, I should brighten things up a little bit. So I'll definitely look into that. Uh, time since last visit. There we go. Routine visits every, let's say every six months, I think should be enough. Let's try every six months at first, and then we can up it if necessary. Every six months. Cool. And then hopefully that'll keep these things operational without me having to struggle too much. Um, but yeah, see, many of you are saying that Q&E should allow me to go through the train, but it does not. Even with this thing checked, it simply doesn't let me pop out. There we go. Um, so that's that taken care of. What else have we got? Lights around the zoo. Now, lights can get a little pricey. Let's go ahead and see what we're looking at here. If I got some street lamps, you know, 30 isn't that bad, actually. 30 isn't that bad. Um, and I also want to make sure that people are able to see the uh, the animals and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get... I wish there wasn't these street lamps. They're not my favorite looking thing, if I'm completely honest. Um... But I mean, I guess they have to do for now. We can always customize them, right? So if I if I pop you down, it's a small area. <laughs> it's a very small area. Pop you down over there. I can pop you down over here. It's giving a few points of a uh, of focus, I suppose. I can add a lot more. I'm just trying to be cautious. With <laughs> that's that's not normal. That is not normal at all. Um, come on, you know what I meant, game. You know what I meant. There we go. Have to set it up right myself, I suppose. Um, yeah, they, it'll get pretty expensive pretty quickly. 30, you know, if we add like five more. Maybe maybe let's add like three more for now. I, I will brighten things up more as time goes on, but I, I, just, I just I just know I need to be careful as well. Let's get you up there so that's nice and clear. You can see the ATM. Uh, let's go ahead and get, um, let's get one over here. I think it's probably a good idea to have one next to the education boards. And get you over there. And let's leave it at that for now. So there you go. A couple lights here and there. Um, hopefully that'll help. And and many of you were also suggesting that I uh, bring some more donation boxes in. And I think you're very much right. What I'm going to do though for that is I'm going to wait until the sun comes up and uh, see where people end up. And I will add donation boxes where people are actually congregating. Because many of you, again, were suggesting, okay, keep, keep an eye on where these people are coming, where they're standing, and then add some donation boxes. Get a bit more aggressive with those donation boxes. And you're very much right. Um, I will be adjusting a couple things here and there as well as far as terrain is concerned. But all that I'm going to wait for until the sun has risen. Uh, what else have we got over here? Just sorry, I, I, I actually have noted down. Yeah, it was hundreds of comments. It's great to see uh, you, you, all, you, you all sharing your you know thoughts and whatnot. So I'm just trying to uh, stay organized with how I'm going to approach these things. So I think some of the key things have been taken care of. What I could do, actually, another major suggestion. I just want to check really quickly. Sorry. I, I'm nervous about uh, our uh, work zones here. Yes, we've got everything in the work zone. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Just wanted to make sure I got that done. Uh, so one thing that was mentioned, actually, is that I could maybe get rid of our security guard because they're not really needed just yet we haven't seen any vandalism so i could get rid of our security guard and only bring them in like hire hire a new security guard if and when things start to get a little uh not so great i suppose is the way to put it so fine let's save let's save ourselves some money by doing that so ernestine our our arevalo oh god i butchered that horribly didn't i um Low workload. Yeah, they're not really doing anything. So let's go ahead and fire them. This feels terrible. Oh, unfortunately, you're not needed anymore. Uh, so they're, they're fired. That, that should save us a little bit of money. Reducing the uh, wolf food quality should save us a little bit of money as well. Temporarily. What do we got going on over here? Animal is thirsty. Animal is hungry. So again, hopefully that'll be taken care of because we've updated their the work zones. I think we're good to continue. Oh, no, actually. One last thing I want to check. So many of you have pointed out that the speaker I have in here... And I don't recall putting a speaker down in here. Ah, that one. That, yeah, this is an ambience. Uh, like, this, this is just like audio. It's not a educational speaker. I suppose I could add some down in here, some educational speakers, so people are willing to spend a bit more at this donation box. But it is already making... A lot of money, question mark? Um... <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'm going to keep an eye on this situation and, and, and see how that develops. But for now, let's go ahead and get out of the tunnel. Let's resume time 
and keep an eye on our money and see what we can do in terms of uh, placing down more donation boxes. Again, there, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be uh, doing today that will... Well, let, let's try and go over some of the things I'll be doing today. Uh, we have a name for the exhibit over here, so we're going to be naming it and preparing some signage and actually updating the exhibit as well. Uh, in fact, I believe there was mention that these guys may not have been able to cross over completely. I might need to smooth this section out a little bit more, so we might go ahead and do that, but I'm going to wait until the sun rises before we get into any more. Oh, one more thing, actually. One excellent suggestion that was brought up was that perhaps kids getting in at half price is not necessary. Perhaps we can do $4, 4 and 5 We'll see if people complain about the, the cost, but that even that $1 should make a pretty big difference in uh, yeah, with our circumstances. Let's see. Um, oh, what are you protesting? Oh, of course. These starving animals. Keeper should be coming right now, so hopefully that'll be taken care of. And, I mean, I could also just get rid of um, all of the animals here that aren't a breeding pair. Oh man, Jose is having not a good time at all. And now we actually finished some research as well, so let's go ahead and check in on that. Which animal is this for? The Galapagos tortoise. Okay, excellent. Uh, continue that research, I think. And I do need to customize some of these things as well. One of the things I find that often... Um, am I looking for the word throws me off? I guess throws me off is just how much is happening when I don't hit pause. There's a lot going on at any given time. So, the Galapagos tortoises. So what have we learned about you? What can we do for you that's new? Um, where are we? Zoopedia. So, our research has given us, let's see, new food type, small ball, sprinkler, dog ball, food enrichment, a new fun fact as well. So, fair enough. Nothing, nothing we haven't already touched on, I don't think. Got the ball in here. I got the, the food ball as well. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, we, we should be okay. Hopefully these guys start making babies soon. Um, that should be quite good for us as well in terms of releasing into the wild and whatnot. And I will be actually adjusting... The, the pathing over here as well. And like I've said already, I'll be adjusting. Uh, I'll make sure that there's food and water available on both sides. Uh, so that's something I want to do today. Again, sorry, got sidetracked there. So we've got a name. We've got some ideas for uh, upgrades to do to this area. So that's the first order of business, I would say, with, uh, uh, with stuff we're going to be accomplishing today. Uh, we're also going to be bringing some of the trees into our zoo, into a more central location to doll up this central area because it is pretty barren our habitats are looking okay i mean this one's looking all right i guess uh, our habitats are fine but the central area is very bland and plain so i actually have a lot of plans for how i want to change these things my zoo has no security guard yeah, yeah yeah but our crime should be fine in fact can we see crime in a specific uh area rep Happiness, conservation, can't really, hmm, eh, no, not really. Um, but yeah, so that's that's something we're doing. We're going to make doll this area up as well. Uh, we've done some of the management stuff, and I'm hoping to get started on my grizzly bear uh, enclosure as well. Now, with the grizzly bear enclosure, uh, there's some stuff for me to consider. Do I put it over here where there is the water treatment facility and whatnot? Uh, where is, let's see. Because the thing is, we can't go too low. If we put it over there, I could go around it, I suppose, dig down and around it, I guess. Um, I was going to keep it above ground and then dig down into sort of a cave-ish area. So maybe, maybe I, I, maybe I can do it there. I don't want to do it on the other side because it's, uh, I'd have to get another water treatment facility going down on this side to help with that. So it's a bit of a balancing act. Animal is thirsty. You should be in the work zone. You are in the work zone. So hopefully the keeper is coming here. To get you some water. Uh, what else have we got? That's just no security guard. Fine over here. What's the deal over here? Uh, increased conservation rating to one star. Okay. Souvenir profits. Ah, we're getting there. Have at least 700 guests in the zoo. Well, we're at the 340 area, so, you know, that's okay. Sun's starting to come through. And, of course, it's snowing. It's November. This is too accurate to what's been going on in Toronto. <laughs> uh, we had our first snowfall a little earlier than expected. Now, I feel like this is bright enough to start getting some work done, though the snow is... Uh, a little, a little hard to look through. Um, so I'm just trying to like keep in mind what's what's most interesting to look at as well. So people are probably going to be tucking into the tunnel now. And in the tunnel, I guess I could add another donation box. We've got just the one. I could add another one over here. Many of you were like, yeah, I put like three aside. So um, people are more likely to donate. So let's go ahead and get the donation box. Maybe 
right over here. This is a very uh, immediate immediate results. <laughs> it's a very important way of making money. This is like the primary way of making money. This, you know what? I'm glad I did that. That's already making me money. So this is good. Uh, we do also want to consider ooh, VIP guest. Hello. Thank you for the credits. We also want to consider swapping our wolves out a little bit. Um, oh my god. Okay, hold on. These tortoises are definitely not happy about this type of weather. Uh, like 100%. That's not a tortoise. <laughs> Where are my tortoises? Um, hello? Oh, they're probably hiding. Right, of course they are. They don't like this weather. So, they are hungry. Go ahead and call the keeper over here. Habitat, yes, not very happy. Temperature, definitely not happy. So, let's go ahead and take a look at their uh, temperature requirements. Zupedia, they need 14 to 40. Okay. So, let's go for, uh, let's go for, let's go for 14, I think. Let's get a couple of heaters in here. Um, where are we? There we go. A couple of heaters. Let's have a nice circular radius, right? So, if I tuck one over here, let's say, hopefully they won't, like, quote-unquote, chew at it or anything. Another thing I could do, actually, is I could put it over here, and that way we get heat for the guests as well as the animals. Not a terrible idea, actually. Keep it over here. We set you to 14. Let's go with 15. 15 is a nice, uh, nice number. And over here as well, actually, this one's going up to 30. Let's go ahead and pull you down to, like, 20. Something a bit more comfortable. Uh, so this should help us a lot. Um, wondering if I should get... Rather, where I should get another one. Because we'll need more for sure. I can copy you and pop you down. In this corner, perhaps. Did not mean to raise you up. Pull you back down. Yeah, sure. There we go. In this corner. Hopefully it'll get uh, a good bit of this area covered. Yeah, these, these tortoises are definitely not enjoying this uh, current situation. So you're going to heat things up. Let's keep an eye on its reach. It's probably not going to get all the way, unfortunately. So we're probably, yep, going to have to pull you over here as well. I always... There we go. Good stuff. So that'll warm this area up. Warming this area up. Good stuff, good stuff. Spectre's arriving soon. Our VIP, we've already said hello to. Yep. What's going on over here? Low welfare on these tortoises, of course. They do not like their situation, but that's changing now. They're hopefully feeling a lot better now. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Well, move towards your food. I guess they weren't going because it was snowing, so fair enough. Terrain is still not perfect. It's because there's still a lot of snow coverage. So let's go ahead and get a heater uh, down over here. I wonder if it'll heat above as well. I want people to feel warm when they come through. Go ahead and get you in there. And let's up this to 15 as well. Yeah. That should be nice for them. Okay, good stuff. How are you feeling now? Habitat's getting there. Temperature is still not great. Temperature is still not great. Okay. I know it's too cold. Let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, we need to get another donation box in here. Well, hold on. First, let's take care of our animals, right? Let's take care of our animals. I think we need to up the temperature a little bit. Get you up to 20. 20 is a comfortable number. Okay, there we go. Up you a little bit as well. Hopefully they'll feel a bit more comfortable. Yeah, see, there's like a bit of a blind spot there, and I think that might be what's uh, affecting their happiness. We do something like that, maybe. Got another one of you over here. I mean, the heating costs are going to go through the roof, but I think it's necessary. I'm glad to see they're eating. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. Enrichment's a little on the low side, but it is what it is. Vet research complete over here. That should be for our tortoises, tortoises again. And let's go ahead and get you working on... You know what? Actually, no. Keep on them. Keep on them. What's next? Yeah, keep on them. Education bumps and stuff especially. Sure. Uh, let's get another donation box over here. Get one over here. This one looks like it's making us a 
fair bit of money. I think that's tracked monthly is my... If I were a guessing man, that's what I would guess. And over here, what have we got? Nothing, really. Well, I guess they haven't been here for a while. They're out enjoying the sun. And actually, on the topic of enjoying the sun, let's go ahead and pause for a second. And I think it's time to get to work with what I was saying in terms of beautifying the central area and working on this. So first things first, uh, let's spend a little bit of money because, hey, we're actually looking pretty good, financially speaking. Looking pretty good. Now, I think you guys are very much right that every time feeding comes around, we see that big drop. So it's not so random. It's because of feeding. Uh, so just got to keep an eye out for that. But I think we have enough money to pull some of these trees in and beautify the central area. And uh, I'm going to do that with a time lapse. And then we're going to pull in, take a moment to regroup. And then we're going to do another one uh, with regards to our... Uh, our habitat over here and, and making some fine adjustments to it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to finally making the central plaza area a little bit more uh, pleasing to the eye. So again, with this, I decided to take advantage of a very hot tip that came through in the comments of uh, one of the previous episodes um, that I can just, yeah, uproot some of these trees that are around and uh, replace them and, and, and move them as I see fit. So I decided to really get the uh, front and central area very heavily wooded. I try to find appropriate trees where possible as well. Sorry, I do a quick little cooler adjustment there so the walking spaces don't get so cool down. But um, I try to find trees that have like appropriate uh, clear space underneath them as well so that, you know, when you're actually walking by them, you're not kind of walking through uh, branches and leaves and things like that. But then I get a nice kind of background uh, behind those, you know, shops right at the entrance there to hopefully block off the view into some of those nasty staff buildings, but also create a nice impression when you actually walk in through the uh, entry of the zoo. I just wanted to have a nice first impression. I also take a look at the... Um, stalls and make sure that they have a nice scenery rating because I, I think guests are happier when the scenery rating is higher and then after that we go into the uh staff facilities and again i decide to overspend uh just to create a nice aesthetic over here again going for that kind of log cabin in the woods type of feel it, it, it's ten dollars a piece for these logs so it's quite expensive so i do try to again keep some areas hollow uh not only is that more cost effective i think it also makes sense i'm trying to make this appear as one giant complex or a giant unit i don't know if i want to do a rooftop though because i don't know if i want to hide those icons at the top i mean i could do something a little interesting where i keep a gap so i can see through but at the same time there is a bit of a roof i don't know i don't know how i feel uh but i do end up yeah building the walls and uh building some coverings uh, around the doors and windows as well. Overall, I think it looks nice. Uh, it kind of camouflages itself into some of the trees. In fact, I could probably add more trees to this area uh, to make it feel a bit more blocked off. But yeah, you can see I experiment a little bit with some options over here because unfortunately it's a short uh, log needed, but there isn't a log of the right size. I try and put that tree in and I actually feel pretty good about how it looks except for when you go inside. I experiment with it a little bit, but then I realize, you know what, it's not consistently good looking enough across the board. So I get rid of that and instead I decide to use some of the uh, climbing equipment because why not? But again, it's $10 a piece. So each one of these sections, I believe, ends up costing me 60 bucks. Uh, and you can see my money is very quickly draining. So again, overdoing it a little bit, but hey, that's the that's the price of perfection, I suppose. Calling this perfection is, is a bit uh, much, maybe. But I do like how it looks. I like how it looks, I like how it feels. I like that there is a bit of a, you know, color variation as well. Overall, very happy with, uh, with the look and feel. And then again, pulling some more trees in there and I might get some more decorations and plaza type things going down in the future. Okay, that was maybe a little bit more expensive than I was expecting it to be. Um, keep forgetting how expensive some of these logs can be. So we're going to take a moment for uh, a moment's pause from uh, these visual upgrades. Oh, no, no, we're not. We're, we're going to actually go in here and add a couple more logs. Sorry, I missed these earlier. Got to get got to get these uh, covered up. Just, um, you know, every once in a while, you, you spend a lot of money on something that uh, maybe, maybe... <laughs> wasn't worth spending a lot of money on but I'm pretty happy with the end result so uh, I'm going to going to stick to my guns here I guess and uh, and just cover these up so we're, we're at about 5k now roughly give or take uh, which is yes about a thousand invested in these uh, decorations which yes is a lot more than I was expecting but like I said it's fine it's fine it looks nice 
and uh and 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 we knew we were going to drop some big bucks on some visual upgrades in the central area because honestly it's been an eyesore for a while uh so it's fine but we're going to take a pause uh now we're gonna get uh, by taking a pause I and mean, we're going to take a pause in terms of getting buildings going down uh, and we're going to allow time to flow forward so we can make a little bit more money i'm really worried about the next feeding cycle uh taking uh, taking money away a superstar comes along what do we got going on over here so souvenir profits claim that reward thank you very much and we have uh we already said hello to you i'm guessing we just got a new uh animal maybe was uh was born or something i'm, I'm trying to figure out what may have happened oh you know what maybe it was one of the spiders maybe it was one of the spiders let's go ahead and take a look at our animals everyone seems to be doing okay winona jackson nakedra you know what we could use another western diamondback rattlesnake let's go ahead and see if we can't find one um I feel bad. That one's a little lonely. So let's go ahead and try and find... Again, hopefully we can spend conservation credits. Actually, money's looking good again, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, where are we? Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Can we get you, Durward? Pretty cheap. Go ahead and adopt you. And let's send you to... Yes, you know exactly where I want to take you to. Over here. Get a couple of them in here. Now, many of you were suggesting also some upgrades. Can't find an accessible... Okay, we, get, we, we need to get some upgrades to our staff rooms and stuff as well. Many of you were suggesting that, and uh, it's certainly something I should consider. Uh, but really quickly want to mention, many of you were suggesting we get some backgrounds and stuff going on over here. I should definitely do some more research on... Um, both of these uh, sets of animals so that we can actually get them some prettier, you know, layouts and whatnot for sure. Let's go ahead and, and add a background over here. A 3D facade, please. Not, um, not saying 3D facade adds one. Does it not? 3D facade, okay. There we go. You gotta click okay. Looks a lot nicer there. Getting a little cleaning done over there. And yeah, I think the plan is to start putting these side by side, having more angles of approach. Uh, from, from what I've uh, ascertained from the comments, many of you are saying that these exhibits don't typically get the best return on investment, which is a little unfortunate, but we'll make do with it. This seems to be working okay. Let's get out of this tunnel over here. Let's take a look at other spots. We can put some uh, donation boxes up over here. So this one, I'm hoping people will start interacting with a bit more. You're right there. This corner. I mean, how are people feeling about the views and stuff? I'm, I'm not seeing any complaints about the views lately. People are really liking the uh, turtles. The, sorry, the tortoises. My bad. Um, we got that donation box. This donation box. These ones should be making some money. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This was great. This was great. This one's probably not making as much money anymore. Hopefully the rain uh, will bring the tortoises down over here. They don't seem to mind the rain right now, though. They're they're making the climb. So, you know, I mean, hey, good on them, I suppose. Got our vet coming through for research, I imagine. And the keeper's in here as well. God, the game looks beautiful when it rains. Um, I do need to get stuff over here as well. And you know what? We're, oh, my God. We're actually making some decent money. I should be a little less concerned about our financial situation. Things are getting kind of crowded over here. Some of you were suggesting we kind of up the prices on the soda and the food, which is maybe not a terrible idea, actually. Um, zero cal gulpy. Gulpy doesn't sound like something that would ever be zero calories. Over here... Oh, well, you... You can char... Okay, no. Oh, you can add condiments. Oh, interesting, interesting. Eh, okay, interesting. Uh, 12 bucks, 8 bucks. I mean, I don't know if I do want to raise the prices. I guess I could make a little bit more money. I guess I could be making a little bit more money. What's going on? Inspector's coming soon. We've already said hello to you, but we haven't said hello to you, so let's go ahead and get that done. Get those conservation credits. No security guard. I wonder if I should get a security guard before... Um, you know what? I think we can afford it. I think we can afford it now. So, our security. There we go. J just in case. Just in case. Some of these keepers have high workloads. I wonder if I should get another keeper, or if I should get another vendor, actually, to keep the workload a little bit lower. Everyone's really happy, though, so that's good to see. And hold on a second. Where does security guard go? His salary is a little too high. Lacey. Lacey, Lacey, Lacey. You are... Oh, okay. I guess that's the lowest it can go. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, 20 per month. That does not sound like a lot of money. Are they... Are they going to make it across? I'm feeling actually pretty ready to upgrade this exhibit a bit more. Maybe once the rain stops, we can go in there and, and, and get it done. How are all these animals feeling? Enrichment is kind of low. How are the wolves feeling as well? Just want to make sure they're doing okay. And we also want to get a little bit of trading done uh, with the wolves. Winona, feeling good. Nakedra, getting there, right? Like, I could release... 
In fact, let's go ahead and slow down for a second here. Take you back to the uh, storage. And we should get Nekedra a suitable male so we can get some more pups coming, right? Um, so let's go ahead and, yeah, get you out of there. Good stuff. Oh, little shock noises over there. Uh, let's take a look at our animal trading and see if we can get, if we should, I hate using the term get rid of. Not going to get Jackson back in there. That's uh, inappropriate. Uh, quick trade, 83 bucks, 155 bucks over here, 108 bucks over here. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find another um, wolf. Uh, where are we? Timber wolf. There we go. See if we can't get a good one, a good male. Ooh, 3.8 years, I believe. When no, or sorry, Nakedra is five, five years old. Hmm, four years is the closest we've got, but not the 4.4 years. Okay, Durward, 300 conservation credits. What if we just pay money? What if we save those conservation credits for something else? Let's say you're not empty. Don't you can't be empty. Come on, really, you're empty. Wow, fair enough. What if I? do that okay fair enough i guess uh, i guess there are no cash listings for uh timberwolves right now so let's see uh is okay i can't say no to this the name is ontario for those of you that don't know ontario is the province that toronto is in and i live in toronto so how can i say no uh genes are all right not the best what are your genes like immunity is pretty low between them fertility is looking good though you know, hopefully they can pair up nicely. Yeah, I simply can't resist the allure there. Not a very high quality wolf for anything, so to speak. 3.8 years. Ah, oh, I can't resist. I can't resist. Let's go ahead and get you in here. And that'll be good. Hopefully we'll get some pups coming soon. Because wolves, again, let's just check real quick. I have forgotten when their age of sexual maturity is. Um, Where are we? Four years. So they are both in the right age range so that should be nice as well and we'll see when the inspector comes through who the inspector wants to uh, investigate i guess wow this rain is coming down real hard eh people are congregating over here are they using yeah yeah yeah. okay we're, we're getting good donations over here and the speaker is reaching i think it's reaching yeah it goes that far cool fair enough that's another donation coming through now let's see do they actually stop no it looks like they're coming across it looks like they're coming across i think last time maybe they just got hungry halfway through and so decided to fall back so what I could actually do is I could get a water pipe added over here as well. Okay, Ontario has joined. Uh, it's not letting me put the... Why not? Why not? Can I duplicate? There we go. Okay, I can place it now. So there's that. Go ahead and drop you down over here. And we could get the uh, food as well. Maybe I should do some enrichment over there so they're more likely to move there for enrichment. How are you guys feeling, really? Overall, pretty good. Enrichment is low. Vet research is complete. Let's go ahead and see if that's where the Galapagos tortoise. Let's see if we can't find them some new toys or something. Uh, let's also go ahead and change your focus to the... Uh, Brazilian wandering spider. Let's try and make their exhibits a bit more interesting as well. And, yeah, let's see... What we've learned here. I'm hoping to get some more interesting types of toys and stuff for them. Block of frozen fruit. You know what? That sounds like a lot of fun. So, let's purchase a block of frozen fruit. Try and get it on this side. Maybe we'll get them coming over here to play with this. Up over here. And we'll see again. If they do come over, then we're going to invest in the donation boxes and stuff as well. Uh, also, I should actually get the name assigned. Um, so there were a lot of fantastic suggestions for a name over here. Uh, some great wordplay, some great, you know, serious suggestions, some names that incorporated the arches. I love them all. Uh, it's always hard for me to pick names. So I apologize to those of you whose names I didn't pick. Uh, but, uh, you know, future habitats will be coming through where you can, uh, we can try and get your, uh, you know, I guess name in the hat again. Uh, this time around, we're going to go with, and I'm sorry, I have a thing for puns, Tortuga. Galapagos. There we go. Spelt that correctly. Tortugalapagos. So Tortuga in Spanish means turtle or tortoise. And Galapagos is, of course, where these uh, tortoises are from. So Tortugalapagos. <laughs> Hard to say, but uh, we'll make it work. All right. You know what? We need another one of these. Right over here. Cool. 
Bring in the money, please, and thank you. I get a speaker over here as well, maybe. Lower volume on this one, perhaps. Like, right over... I wouldn't want it to... Like, when you come in or when you're sitting down to eat, I don't think you should be able to hear it. So let's do that. Yep, there we go. That should help. Um, yeah, so we're going to get signage and stuff as well. Again, like we did for Wolf Rock, we're going to get signage over here as well. But uh, that will take uh, a bit of time before we get to that, I think. I mean, money's looking good, actually. We're almost at that 10K mark, so money's looking good. We do need to update this. So it's Nekedra and Ontario, right? Where is Ontario? So it's Nekedra and Ontario. I couldn't resist. Maybe it wasn't the wisest wolf to pick, but how could I say no? It was meant to be meant to be they're pretty happy so that's great to see love seeing the animals happy great and you are you not why are you not in love yet come on come on fall in love get to work need some need some babies all right so those donation boxes are doing well for us yeah we've crossed that 10k threshold feeling a lot better now looks like night is coming through what have we got over here? At least 700 inspect. Receive a zoo inspection report with an overall star rating of four. Wow, that'll be tough. Mm. Oh, let's take a look at these spiders. Actually, how are we feeling in terms of how many spiders we have? Still only the three, really. Why are you not being taken care of? Range. Very strange. And where is our inspector? Oh, there we go. Leaving zoo. Oh, they looked at Wolf Rock, and at the time it was called Habitat 2, but that's looking like a solid rating, actually. I wish I'd seen them. But that's that's good. Five stars across the board. That's gotta be good for us, right? It's gotta be good for us. I should get some more lights and stuff coming in now that we have a little bit of money. Make it easier to watch as well, I think. Um... Oh, yeah, look at that. I, th I guess, are they taking a nap right now? No, they just got a view over here. Making a bit of money. In fact, I should add some bedding. Uh, this was pointed out in the comments as well. And, uh, good point. Should add some bedding over here. Just in case. Can't find accessible staff room. I need to add some more of those, don't I? And finally, it looks like maintenance and stuff isn't an issue anymore. Looks like we've got, uh, there we go. Oh, we got it. We got the four-star review. Awesome. So cleanliness is solid, excellent. Wolf Rock and Habitat 2, unfortunately, on its first inspection. It was called an education, still a little bit on the low side. I guess I could add some more speakers and stuff. Or you know what? Uh, this has also been suggested a while ago that I should have done sooner. But we can get the conservation education boards. And I was thinking of doing that like on your way down. Uh, maybe you see the uh, conservation education board. Let's, let's go ahead and see how it looks and feels over here. Right next to another donation box. Um, deforestation, climate change, climate change seems appropriate for the area. Um, poaching, not so much climate, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think climate change. Considering, uh, the animal that's, uh, being discussed over here. It's a nice poster. Yeah, hmm, okay. Uh, yeah, so on your way in, you learn about climate change, and then that takes you into a very warm kind of an area. You know what? I like the narrative what we're building over there, so fair enough. Let's see if that actually helps. I think it's a decent spot to put it. Um, and how are we feeling over here? People are kind of leaving. Are people leaving? It's a crowded over here. This is amazing. 350 is our number. Look at those donations coming through. Can we see them? No, I guess they're tucked in over here. Oh! Oh, we are going to get a child. Child. Is that the appropriate term for, like, a baby animal? A child? Uh, May of next year, so there's going to be a little baby tortoise. And I believe they typically have more than just the one at a time, right? I believe it was, like, two to four or something, wasn't it? Two to seven. Oh, man. This could get really crowded really fast. That's why I also... I wanted it to be a fairly large amount of space, so... Uh, we have thrice as much space, three times as much space as we need, approximately. So hopefully that works out, and I'm hoping that'll also draw some of the tortoises over to the other side. Now let's go ahead and get some more lights down. Um, and you know what I should do, actually. Uh, this was suggested previously, and I should have gotten to it sooner, but our mechanic should perhaps be researching... Um, oh, what was it? What was it? It was power. So if we can get the... Uh, solar plants and wind turbines and things like that those will be extremely helpful so let's go ahead and get our mechanic working on that we might want to hire another mechanic actually and maybe we should get some more vendors as well 
being a little bad for some of these vendors. And God knows we have uh, money coming through. Yeah, let's get another vendor. Feeling kind of bad. And hopefully they'll cycle um, automatically, like, as it makes sense. Oh my god, we need another keeper as well, don't we? Go ahead and get another keeper. We have- our, our financial situation is, is a lot more comfortable now, so I'd like to, um... You know what, actually? Let's go ahead and train you right away. Go ahead and train you right away. Uh, where are we? Can't tr Oh, okay, I, I- That's fair, they have to be hired for a little while before they can be trained. So let's go ahead and find our other keeper. Uh, where are we? You're a two-star. I can make you a two-star as well. Just so you feel a little bit better. Cool. And, and what are people saying, actually? Price is good. Of course, looking in great shape. What a nice zoo. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. And we've completed this, so let's go ahead and claim that reward. Another two Gs added. Oh, man, this is great. I wonder if we'll hit the 700 now. I don't think we'll hit that 700 very soon. Some work needs doing. All right, so it's November. Got about... Oh, it's going to start snowing soon. <laughs> Goddamn. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do right now. Uh, do I want to get started on the grizzly bear exhibit, or do I want to add some more, um, add some more lights and stuff like that? Well, first of all, let's check over here. We could add some perks, make people a little bit happier at a rec room or something. Vendors with this perk will make the guests they interact with even happier. I like the sound of that. Okay. That was actually pretty cool. Okay, I didn't realize there was so many benefits to be had. Let's go ahead and get um, the staff PR course going. It only costs us a little bit more. It's not that bad. What else have we got? What else can we do? Nothing. Nothing, I don't think. Everything's looking okay. I guess I could add another staff room. Inefficient is the veterinary surgery. Well, we haven't needed it yet. We haven't used it yet, so we're still fine. Go ahead and say hello over here, get those conservation credits. What's the deal over here? Vet research complete. That's for the spider. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get the spider a little something special over here. Because, oh, wow, look at these crowds. Oh, again. Q&E, they, they just don't. Nope. <laughs> no amount of acceleration helps. Where are we? There we are. Get down in here. And it looks like the glass has been cleaned as well. To those of you that were wondering about the glass that uh, I agree didn't look all that neat. Uh, it's nice to see it's been cleaned up. So, uh, let's go ahead and add yeah, a long white trunk. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Add a thin, long log. Again, just trying to make these animals a bit happier as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's, um... Jeez. Make some sales. So, send you to storage... I should be able to select a bunch of them at the same time. Let's keep one breeding pair, I suppose. Michaela and Pablo. Everyone else to the Trade Center. And if we go to the Trade Center... What are we looking at? So, first of all, I should probably get rid of... A quick trade is all we've got. We can't send them up for adoption, can we? Sure. Farewell, Winona. Farewell. You were sweet to us. Go ahead and quick trade you as well. Not a lot of money to be made, but we'll trade you as well. There we go. Cool. And then exhibit trading, we have quite a few. Oh, boy. Wow, they're actually a decent bit of money. They're a decent bit of money. Why can't I release to the wild? You, I can't release. Can I release any of them to the wild? Ah, oh, fair enough. Over a grand to make, that's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and quick trade them. Very good call on the uh, the spiders and stuff, by the way. Uh, there are other suggestions as well, like the, the Gila monster, as it's pronounced, as I learned. Again, thanks for uh, for teaching me. And uh, what was it? It was the hairy scorpion or something that some of you were suggesting. So I'll take a look at those options as well. These aren't really making us a lot of money anymore, which is unfortunate. Which is quite unfortunate. What's the deal here? What's the deal here? No, no one cares. No one cares about climate change, it seems. Come on, guys. Come on. Help me out here. Work with me. What's the deal here? Is the Keeper able to get here? Not sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and do another swift time lapse because I do want to update and upgrade how this entire area looks. I've got some plans for both sides. I might do a little bit of extending. And I got some plans for the uh, 
the guests as well. So this will be fun, but uh, definitely have to do it in time lapse mode. All right, I'm super excited about all the stuff we do in this time lapse. Um, initially, I tried to move the uh, the staff entry point elsewhere, but unfortunately, there's just not enough room back there. Uh, so I just adjust the entry over here because I want to create a bit of a uh, plaza type thing, I suppose, a plaza slash a viewing platform uh, for those tortoises. Uh, initially, my plans don't really work out that well because when you overlap paths on top of other paths, you need to have a minimum height and it, it was just too much. So I actually decided to extend the staff path there a little bit and that buys me enough room uh, to have a more reasonable height for this plaza area. So I try to get a nice connection there. I don't like the crazy stairs. That just looks entirely uncomfortable. So I go in and adjust a little bit so it's more of a ramp rather than those uh, steps. Uh, very nice look there. And I try to, again, struggle with the uh, grid kind of a thing uh, <laughs> to make it all flat. Unfortunately, it was just not working. So I leave a little hole over there and we'll just you know, we'll embrace it. We'll use it later. And then the staff connection needs to be done, of course. But yeah, I'm hoping to use that plaza area as a nice, not only a nice viewing point, but also uh, a nice resting point, I suppose I should call it. Uh, Got to get the uh, box, well, boxed off first. So, so I use, again, those climbing platforms. They've been extremely versatile, in my opinion. I've used them a lot. Uh, create in this case, sort of, a, a, again, a box to block off the view underneath, but also to create some very low uh, I, I guess fencing, I suppose you would call it. Very happy with how that looks, but I do decide to pull a tree in and drop it through that little gap in there. So again, it feels intentional, even though it's kind of a... I mean, I... It looks good now. <laughs> it looks good. I'm happy with it. Uh, I gotta put some bins down as well, because again, my hope is that people will come up here to eat is uh, what I was getting at earlier. So I'm putting down some of those picnic benches and I'm hoping that people will go to the Chief Beef and the Gulpy and uh, and pick up some of their sodas and, and burgers and then come over here to sit down, eat, and maybe watch the tortoises as well. Um, should be an interesting, if it actually works out, it should be a pretty interesting spot. I also get down one of those uh, do not eat signs. I think it's absolutely adorable that they exist. So got one of those, uh, no, not do not eat, sorry, do not feed the animal signs. Uh, I really like how it just, it, I don't think it serves any real purpose, but it feels right, you know? Uh, apart from that, I, I kind of contemplate an education board, ultimately decide not to put one down. I want to see how this place gets used before I invest too much into it. Again, being a little, uh, you know, money conscious over here, uh, because I do also want to upgrade this habitat a little bit, get another feeding area, smooth this terrain out a little bit as well. And uh, then comes this little uh, centerpiece, I suppose. Uh, kind of jump from the habitat to the, to the entrance now, but there was a great suggestion in the comments. Now, we were always going to have a welcome sign because I felt like, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to have. Uh, but there was a great suggestion in the comments that actually bumped it up from just being a welcome sign to more. So first things first, we got a very nice little angle going on over here and use this protruding rock to help create the right angle and the right height, I feel at least. I, I every once in a while investigate it from the entrance to see how it looks and feels. Uh, but then, yes, of course, on this side, we have a little welcome sign going down. And this is where I learn, actually, that the alphabet, the lettering comes in two different sizes. There is a, a large and a regular size, so that's going to come in handy in just a moment's time. Uh, and of course, it is also very easy to search as well, thankfully. So, get my welcome sign in there. have to do a little bit of kerning. Fun fact, when you adjust the spacing between letters, it's called kerning. When you do it for an entire word or phrase, it's called tracking. So I have to adjust the uh, letter spacing there a little bit. Uh, but then here's, here, I love this. This was the, the part of the suggestion that was uh, like, oh yeah, that's that's great. A little goodbye sign. So on your way out, you, you get a nice little farewell message. Very happy with how that kind of turned out as well. Um, I might recolor some of this actually. Uh, all white. I don't know how I feel about that. We might recolor this, um, but just adjusting over here the uh, exact location so it's centered nicely. Uh, pretty happy with how it ends up looking though. You get the welcome coming in, the goodbye going out. I don't know, really happy with that. And then I actually get some lighting as well because I feel like this would look really impressive uh, at night. Um, just if the lights are coming in nicely, if the if the spotlights are placed appropriately, and maybe if they're colored correctly as well. I don't mess around with colors right now, but I'm really excited to see how that looks in the darkness, actually. Very happy with our entrance now. I think it's finally been, you know, raised up to the standard. And then finally, of course, had to get the sign here, and it was a good thing that we that I discovered that, yes, there are, in fact, two sizes, uh, because then I could actually brand this properly, I suppose. And again, just adjusting some of the spacing. Really like how the, the font actually looks. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the A's looked a little different, so I kind of mirror that one a little bit, just to add a little bit of style, I, I suppose, to it. But there you go, Tortuga Galapagos. Feeling very happy with how that looks, feeling very happy with how this plaza area feels. Yeah, quite quite satisfied uh, with the changes we've made to uh, that entry area. I tried to get another habitat entrance, but unfortunately it's not allowed, but whatever, that's fine. All right, you know what? Feeling pretty good about the uh, upgrades we just made. 
I, I, I think they'll work nicely. I mean, uh, again, the hope is that people, I mean, we'll see if it actually works this way. Uh, if not, we'll make some changes. But the hope is that people will get their food and eat in this area and then watch or eat and drink, I should say, in this area and then watch some of the uh, tortoises, you know, play and, and have a wonderful time. Uh, again, we're about to get a baby as well. So that's, you know, exciting times. What are you doing over here? Making a mess. Um, anyway, um, so that'll be nice. And if people don't actually buy food and stuff over here, uh, what I can actually do is I'll expand in this direction I'll, I'll move the path or what i can do i can probably add i can like raise the train or not the train but raise the oh wow actually it won't let me i have to go pretty high up anyway w w the option is there that we can create a second level to this plaza area uh over top of the staff path where we'll have another chief beef and uh gulp whatever it's called chief beef and gulpy uh, so we'll get a couple of those over here, maybe get some different food stalls as well, make this a bit of a, a food plaza kind of a thing, a food court kind of a thing. Uh, I want to see if people interact with that, though, as is, and uh, didn't do too much to the actual habitat itself. Uh, I just want to see how people interact with this. And oh, I really do love the inclusion of the do not feed signs. I'm so happy that that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, we got our welcome and goodbye sign as well. That was, again, something suggested uh, in the comments. So greatly appreciated. I... I the reason why I stress so much that I read all the comments is because um, I really like play. It, it almost feels like we're playing together, like coming up with ideas together and stuff. So do keep those suggestions and thoughts and uh, feedback especially coming. Uh, I know I mentioned that before as well. just thought I'd mention it again real briefly. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and hit play and, and see how people interact with the new spaces. Again, we do have uh, Baby Tortoise coming through. I'd love that to come through uh, this session just so we can see the new baby in action basically. Uh, but yeah, it should be a good time. I want to mention actually really quickly as well. If uh, you'd be surprised, I was surprised at how many of you have been watching along, uh, you know, all four episodes so far, and hopefully now this fifth episode as well, uh, but aren't actually subscribers. YouTube actually, you know, kind of tells you like, oh, turns out, I think it was 60% of people who are watching episode four aren't subscribers. So if you're enjoying this series uh, and you want to see more of it, do subscribe because it will be a consistent and constant feature on this channel because I'm just having so much fun with this game. Um, honestly, it, it, yes, it's got a couple of issues here and there. The pathing was a little, you know, frustrating, but I'm getting used to it, getting familiar with it, and uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm enjoying it thoroughly. I really want, sorry, I know I'm rambling here. I really want to see how our sign looks at night. I'll have to adjust the uh, angles, I think, of the lights a little bit. And uh, I think it'll make a, a really big difference. And, and we want to get some lighting in for the animals as well, like for rather for the exhibits or the um, not the exhibits, the I always lose this word, always at the tip of my tongue, the habitats, uh, the enclosures, the habitats. We want to light them up as well. But before I do that, I want it to you know, I want night to fall so I can actually get um, uh, get a better better idea of exactly how the lighting is required. I think I need to add another staff room. And I think I need to add another keeper hut as well. Tempting to do it underground, actually, uh, and then have keeper access to uh, to this and the f upcoming grizzly habitat underground too. Something I'm thinking about. Uh, and near that keeper hut, we can have a staff room, an underground staff room. Not the nicest staff room, of course. Uh, I wouldn't want to... I mean... Yeah, now you'd be kind of isolated. You have, like, I can imagine the windows are just paintings of the outdoors. Kind of sad, really. And this is good. Donations are coming through. Feeling pretty good. I wonder if this one's a little too far off to the side. Go ahead and move you over here. A little bit more accessible. There we go. Instant instant response. That feels good. People are coming through. They're sitting over here to eat. It's great to see. Oh, drink, rather, I guess. But, hey, whatever. You know, you know what I was going for. What are your opinions? I, I haven't been looking into people's opinions enough. Place has great scenery, enjoying the view of the timber wolf. I, I want to know what angle you had. I wish you could... I guess they were watching from over here. Yeah, it was a lot, lots of fun to... Whoa, buddy. <laughs> Sleeping with the wolves over there. Oh, so cute. Um, sorry. Um, so that's good. People are starting to enjoy the views a bit more. Ticket prices are fair. I mean, these, these folks, I think, just came through. Uh, seeing the Galapagos giant tortoise eat is making me hungry. Excellent. That's what I want. Good stuff. People are coming up over here to take a look. I was tempted to put benches down over here as well, but I didn't like how that was kind of snapping. Um, so I, I opted against that. A little bit of cleaning going on over there. Oh, what's going on here? Now, I don't think people are going to move up there to eat. I don't want to move these benches away. I feel like they're at the right spot. Uh, but I do want to see if this area gets some use before I over-decorate it or before I decide to do the expansion. Um, but yeah, feeling pretty good. March, I believe April, May is when the baby is due, right? Offspring is due. 
May. I hope, uh, I hope we get, I hope we get like three or four. That'd be amazing. And then I, I then I definitely have to expand the uh, habitat, actually. Make it a bit bigger on this side. And one thing that I'm wondering is, is the staff able, the staff should be able to cross over and put food and stuff over there. So I'm curious, actually, if they will do that. And one more thing I should check is, yeah, it's still traversable. Still traversable, except for this exact spot over here, apparently. But we'll see what happens. All right, it's April. May's coming through. We're at 18K still, making some good money. Um, yeah, making some decent money. Good bit of income. Awesome. I, I think now it's probably safe to, safe to say, safe to say that we've stabilized. Uh, we've got a decent bit of money, a little bit of fluctuation, but not, not a big lump. We just crossed over a month as well. We didn't see a huge drop. I could increase the, <gasps> oh, we got a new pupper and I didn't get an announcement. Oh, baby. We got, <laughs> we got, us. that freaked me out for a second. I was like, oh, Cerberus. Um, two puppers? We got two puppers? Lucas and Eremias, I'm guessing is how, uh, that said. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, here, here's an opportunity for a clickbait thumbnail if I was that kind of a channel. Oh my god, new mutation, or whatever. No, this is just adorable, though. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Off they go. Oh, so cute. Wow, very appealing. And you? Kind of appealing. The, the runt of the litter, I suppose. I wonder if the game actually models that, like runts of a litter and stuff. Anyway, either way. That's great. Oh, this is adorable. I was hoping, because our previous pack was very small before it started some infighting, so I was hoping to get some bigger, you know, packs and stuff going, so very happy, actually, about that. Oh, man. Oh, that feels so good. You feel There's just a great sense of, like, pride, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so... I'm sorry. They're just so cute. I can't help myself. I apologize. They're so cute. All right, cool. That's awesome. And then over here as well, it's May. And I wonder if it'll happen immediately or if it'll take some time. Abril, come on. Give me give me a handful. Oof. This is a problem. Is it because I've blocked it off? I don't think I've blocked off the entrance. I don't think that's the case. I think it's just it gets busy. All right. Where is my baby? Offspring imminent. That sounds a little scary. A little, uh, just a little scary. Vet research is complete. All right, hold on, hold on. Give me, give me a second here, gang. Give me a second here. There's a lot going on right now. Uh, so Brazilian wandering spiders have been, uh, boosted a little bit. Uh, do we flip back onto, I mean, Uma is maybe able to, you know what? Let us train Uma. Let's train Uma so she can maybe do take on the research role and be a little bit faster at it while we um, while we swap and train our other vet as well. So we, we do need to get better at that, um, just managing training and stuff like that. Oh, this place is like empty. I guess people are going to be distracted by the uh, new baby wolves and stuff temporarily. But let's at least make sure that our wandering spiders are happy. The exhibit here is really nice. Um, I mean... Yeah, that's really not not a very popular place to be. We need to make things... We need to give people an incentive to go through this area. Uh, so for now, you know what? Let's leave it be. And, uh, sorry. Was I doing research still? Yes. Let's go ahead and swap you over to... Get back on the, uh, the tortoise. And I should do some research on disease as well before it starts hurting me. And you are getting trained. Okay, good stuff. Mechanic research, you should be working on... Yep. Yeah, power. Hopefully we'll get that done soon. I'd like at least the wind turbine. Um, and the solar panel can maybe wait, but at least the wind turbine. Because then, I believe, uh, if I recall correctly, uh, guests don't get upset at wind turbines and stuff. So that'll be helpful as well. Alright, back to it. I want to see this happen. Uh, it's also pretty neat to see that we are able to uh, maintain wealth despite our... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Right, there we go. Uh, despite our um, heating and whatnot that we've added, because we've added a fair bit of heating and lighting and stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at the crowd forming. I, I want to also color code my um, donation boxes. In fact, I was wondering if I could style them up a little bit, doll them up a little bit, put them in a log or something so they feel a bit more um, personalized. Like, I'll, I'll quickly do it over here while we're watching for... <gasps> oh, no. That was a ball. That was not a baby. <laughs> not a baby tortoise. Uh, what am I looking for here? Construction... Log, I believe. Yeah, like, do something like... Oh, I think she's going into labor. 
I don't like that, you know what I mean? So it feels a bit more... Like our own zoo. <gasps> there! Oh! We got a couple of them, at least two. At least two. Oh, or is that three? Am I seeing three here? So... That's not Angel. I'm gonna butcher this. I Aniel? An Aniel? I, I, I'm sorry. I try. So teach me in the- in the- <gasps> There's so many! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five! Wait! Yeah, five. Oh my god, Abril. Wonderful. I wanna kiss you. Yeah, take- take- take a little nap there. You- you deserve the rest. Water treatment failing. Well then let's go ahead and repair it. Thought we increased your, uh, every six months. I guess that's not good enough. Um, distracting me here, game, from this momentous occasion. Okay, this is- this is too much. This is adorable. <laughs> so cute. Okay, get your- get your foot off. Your- your baby. Oh no. He zoomed in there real far. The camera could- there we go. Oh, that's adorable. That's just adorable. We've got so many of them. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And proud mommy and daddy. We need to up the enrichment here a little bit. Food enrichment, sure. We'll make sure the babies are happy. And they're gonna live for a hundred years. A hundred years. Let's take a look at their genetics, actually. Ooh. Ooh, that's not very good. Okay, that's a fair bit better. Okay, okay. You know what? We might actually need to take a look at uh, researching some diseases. Some of these immunities are pretty low. We can, of course, trade them out. Oh. Adelita, you are a queen. Among paupers. Look, look, look at that, look at that. Amazing. 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 Oh, that, this, you know what, folks? I hope you enjoyed this session, because I certainly did. Um, a nice little reward to end it on, but yes, this is where we're going to call it a session. I'm pretty happy with how uh, things have kind of played out. Uh, we made a lot of progress over here. Again, the welcome sign is a welcome addition, I think, to the, uh, to the entrance as you, as you come on through. It's the welcome sign, and as you, as you leave, you see the goodbye sign. It makes you feel warm and fuzzy on your way out. We've got this new addition to Tortugalapa Tortugalapagos. I'm never going to be able to say it smoothly. Uh, and yes, I do want to experiment with this kind of custom uh, donation box kind of a thing. Hopefully it doesn't stop people from donating. We'll, we'll experiment in some more high traffic areas next session. Um, hopefully we'll see people actually taking advantage of this plaza area to get a better view of those tortoises. So many new baby tortoises, it's definitely going to draw a crowd, I imagine. And over here as well, of course, we got our, uh, our new puppers too. Um, our, our two new puppers, too, I should say. So that's great to see. That's great to see. We're, we definitely have to update the signs. And in fact, the tortoise um, exhibit needs an updated sign as well. Got to figure out how to get all of these names onto a board. There's going to be so many of them. Oh, man. Good times. I think next session, we're going to go ahead and get our grizzly bear um, exhibit. Where's that word again? Enclosure. Habitat. There we go. Uh, I should just write it down on a sticky note or something. But yeah, we'll, we'll get that set up. I think over here and maybe we'll push the water treatment and power facilities down a little bit and have a really cool idea uh, for the grizzly bear um, habitat uh, from the comments. It was in the comments, so I'm not going to take credit for it, but I don't want to say what it is just yet either because it's so cool. I think uh, I think there's a nice element of surprise uh, when we execute it. So very excited for that, but I think that's going to be the focus of our next session. Um, because we've already accomplished a lot today, and I hope with the time lapses and all, I've got my math right, and this is a roughly hour-long episode. Folks, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, and again, if you're looking to see more, it's the best way to make sure that uh, I know that you want to see more of this. And make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already and you want to see more Planet Zoo on this channel, uh, but of course, as always, I want to give a massive thanks to all of my channel members and patrons who support this channel on a monthly basis. You do keep us alive and running smoothly now, very much like our franchise. Oh my god, we're at 20k! Oh, amazing. Uh, a big thanks, of course, as well goes out to each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, cheers.